This time last year I wrote a satirical post on an alternate Facebook account and I was basically pretending to be someone else and I pretended that I broke coronavirus restrictions and uh, yeah, it was mental, none of it was true. Here is the full post, you can pause the screen now if you want to read it all. Anyway, so the post was picked up by a Twitter account called Didn't Happen of the Year Awards. It got so popular that Superdry was trending. It made it to the final and the Twitter account did a live stream. I don't know why I did it, but I requested to join the stream as a speaker. I didn't have a plan. Here's what happened. He can edit. He can edit the original post from... If this is the guy, if this is the real Superdry guy, this is like class. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm good, how are you? Really good. You're not the guy. What do you mean? You're not the guy who made that Facebook post. I am, I'm the guy. Yeah, you're not the guy. <laughs> I'm the guy. I'm so confused. So, you have got the screenshot which proves you can edit the post unless you're good at Photoshop, which is fair enough. Yeah. I don't even know what to ask. This has just been sprung up. Um, okay, who are you and where are you from and and why? Let's let's roll. Let's go along with it. Why, why did you do that in Superdry? Um, yeah. So uh, for obvious reasons, I don't want to give a huge amount of information about myself because uh, some of the comments have been pretty bad, uh, um, but uh, a lot of it's been fun as well. Um, the post is true. It is true, I promise you that. In fact, I, I left information out of the tweet. I never meant to go viral. I don't think anyone ever does mean to go viral. My name is MJ. And I am... Going viral! But I thought that my Facebook was private. And I think it originally went viral because someone posted a... One of my supposed friends posted a screenshot on like an Office Quotes page. And it like snowballed from there. I mean, that, that, that could make sense. Um, okay, so I, um, I seek to have to represent myself. The first thing people said is to prove that it's really me because I have a popular post in that. Yeah, so here's the proof that I can edit my Facebook post. And by the way, I shouldn't even have to do this special on Christmas Day. Can you can you DM me the, the link to the exact post? Um, yeah, hang on. I'm still logged into my Facebook. If I you send know. you a personal... It will say edited, yeah. So it doesn't look edited, and Michael, the Michael that was at the bottom of the thing which replied, I can see he's actually replied here going, wow, your dipshit post actually made it to the awards, ha ha ha. Wow. So, I mean, in fact, you know what, if we look into, so, so, okay, so the first thing I think we can truly verify here is that you are the actual author of this post. I am, I am the author. Which is fucking incredible. Okay. Um, <laughs> I did not expect this to happen tonight. Um, however, I think we've got a couple more questions now. Now, if I read that Michael, so the famous Michael that I thought was hilarious in the replies that we all see, um, his comment there saying, wow, your dipshit post actually made it to the awards, ha ha ha. If I read into the word actually, Wow, it actually made it into the awards. That implies that you were trying to make it into the awards, and he can't believe it actually worked. Well, you actually made it to the awards. So now I've got another question for you, and be honest, because it's too late now, yeah. if it turns out. Yeah. That, um, were you trying to get into the awards? I, I promise you I was not trying to get into the awards. Like, wh when I say that this time... Would it be this time last year? Roughly this time last year. Roughly, yeah, I roughly. promise you I had not heard of Didn't Happen of the Year Awards. Since then, I fucking love it. But, um, yeah, I promise you I hadn't heard of it. And I think what he's saying is, like, because for, for me, this has been, like, a year-long thing. I mean, obviously, it's, like, had its picks and tr Is that peak, peak, peak and trough? Is that what they say? Yeah. Like... Yeah. Obviously, it's had that. Like, obviously, it exploded last year, and it's exploded again this year. And it's like, like every every so often, I will get a friend message me saying, "Oh, was this you?" Uh, no, it's the other vulture, and you know, you fucking. Um, but yeah, um, so I think he's just saying like, I actually was a because I didn't even know. I, I I mean, and I forget about it a lot of the time as well, man. But about two hundred people joined. Then we kind of got the impression it weren't the right person, also, and they just, left. Just a thing to point out. The amount of people sending follow requests to Kaylee, you're all thirsty fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so the, um, hang on, wait, that's not the right guy. The guy talking is, 
the Michael guy in the comments. Don't be fooled. He's trying to get clout for his YouTube channel. We're all right, okay. We've got a spanner in the works. <laughs> Are you Michael? No, sir, I'm vouching. Are you not Michael on Vouching's Facebook? No, sir. Can you vouch that this story is true? Sorry, <laughs> oh, that was true. Oh, I do, I do like a pun. Like, it is, it is I true. I want to know this person DMing <laughs> yeah, me right. all this information. I want to know now if they are, if they know you, or if they are just making a guess. So, can that we, person we, please just DM me and tell me if you're, if this is your prediction, if you actually know these people, if you know Vouchin and Michael. Like I know, I know Michael. Like he's he's one of my he's one of my friends. He like helped me start my account, and I know that he would want nothing more than for me to tell him uh, tell you guys his YouTube channel, and I'm sure as shit not going to do that. <laughs> Fair enough. That, that's so, a, that would be some of the Okay, I'm, I'm going to still go down the route before because this this is a guy that I don't know that's DMing me telling me it's it's still not you and that you're Michael. But I'll uh, I'll still go down this this route because I I believe you now because you've sent me the screenshot. You, well, not just screenshot. You've sent me um, a screen recording of you logged into Vouchin's Facebook. Yeah. And um, that you can edit the post and everything. So I fully believe it's you. Um, you tell me that you didn't do it to get on the awards. Yeah. Which, is, which I believe you as well. Um, but I still don't believe the story. So, again, be honest, it's already in the final now. It's less than an hour left. So you, you can you can admit that you're pranked here. Was ha, Is the story complete bullshit? Or are you standing by the fact that this story happened? It's completely true. Like I said, there's stuff that I left out. Like it's, I know it sounds crazy to other people, but it was just important to me. Like It's, it's important to me. And I'm, like, I'm not like an anti-vax or anything like that. I'm fully vaccinated. And I believe in all that, but having to wear a mask is not right, in my opinion. Yeah, and there's, there's, we won't get into the mask versus anti-mask, because I think we'll lose half the followers on Doctor and stuff, because I'll never win that debate. Um, so it, it's, it's a very dramatic story that you tell, and I can't, I really don't believe it happened at all, I'll be honest. I, that, for me, is one of my favourite entries ever. So let, let's pull it apart. I was in Super Dry this morning. You got vouchers for Christmas. Yeah. Plausible. I believe you. I believe you got vouchers <laughs> for Christmas. You had to travel from Tier 4 to where you were in Tier 2. That's also plausible. Yeah. But illegal, yeah. by the way. Mm, At the time, it was illegal. Well, like, yeah, I don't know about that. But like... be bygones on that one. So I walk into a shop and a young boy asks me why I'm not wearing a mask. Now, again, reasonably plausible. I think a lot of people mind their own business uh, these days. Um, but again, that's not impossible. Um, I lean down to him and explain to him that I've worn a mask my entire life, pretending to be comfortable in my own skin. So when you say that to the boy... Is is that is that something really deep, and you're having a bit of a you're opening up to this straight, straight random little boy? Or? Yeah, it's literally just like Scott. I mean, the boy was just like very like wide eyed and sort of like innocent and like like you know what they're like when they're that age. They're like inquisitive and stuff. And honestly, like maybe what I said to him wasn't word for word what I put on the tweet, but it was basically the gist of it. And that literally just came from my heart. So, how old is how old were they? The kids like six at the time. So, so, uh, uh, apologies if this is all true and really deep because I'm, I might as well have been taking the piss, uh, and and you're probably not too far wrong. Um, but you've just said that there was a six-year-old, really innocent-looking boy who just asked you why you weren't wearing a mask. And your immediate response was to probably torture him with a deep psychological. Uh, I'm I'm not I've wear a mask my entire life, pretending to be comfortable in my own skin, or some variation of that. I mean, you ever think that's a bit weird? No. <laughs> Matt, have you ever seen a kid play Minecraft these days? They are absolutely like insane. It they can build like massive towers, they can build like monuments. They could bit like I saw that some kid once build a, a 9/11 monument on Minecraft. And it just blew my <laughs> mind, like the. And you're still not going up to people and asking them about the their personal choices, you know, at age six. Well, this this yeah. this kid was, man. Harry, before you <laughs> <can> we <laughs> tried this the other night. I don't know when it was, but we've got Will Hughes listening. Can we get his thoughts on the matter? Hey, Will Hughes might not care. <laughs> if he wants to join, I'm happy to accept him because I like Will. Um, I mean, you've well him as football uh, manager years ago, but but he, he, he might not care. Earlier. Um. 
<laughs> so, okay, so, well, so, so while, while we're on top so, of this... Same, same, yeah. same goes out to Luke Dutch, if he wants to come in and have a chat, by all means. <laughs> Sounds... There, there's ask, a few shout outs. Sorry, sorry. There you go. So, right, at the end of the story, you supposedly all buy each other clothes or pick out the clothes for each other. What was picked out for you and what did you pick out for them? Well, they picked out a hoodie for me, but I didn't want it, so I just got a bag. Um, Scott, the, the kid, he got like a pair of sunglasses, and then the adults, I think they got, I don't even remember, like a, like a sweat, a sweater thing. Like a so heather, was, heather was sweater you, thing. You, you purchasing for them and them purchasing for you as us? No, 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 we, we all just sort of, we stayed in the store for like 15 minutes or something, like just looking at stuff basically, generally, and I, like, to be honest, I usually get like a hoodie or something, but this, this year I just wasn't really feeling what they had, so I got a bag. Can I just say, we've got, um, and it's genuinely not me trying to give preference to people with blue ticks because it's not about that, but this Vivek um, Bajpai is a senior TV journalist and in spirit with the other journalists that we had, um, I, I just love the idea that we're going to have a professional journalist now <laughs> interrogating. Um, so I'm just, I'm going to add Vivek in. Get him in, man. Who has requested, um, because they, they, their line of questioning might be more structured than ours. Mm -hmm. Vivek, what are your thoughts? You're on mute. I don't know if you know. I hope that I'm kind of gassy, man. I hope that my um, sort of gas isn't being picked up. Like. <laughs> it's, not, it's not being picked up. Cheers, man. Uh, so Vivek's on as a speaker, but he's he's on mute. I don't know if he meant to come on or not. Um, okay, let, let's still keep it in order because I think we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it. We'll dissect it bit by bit. So we've already talked about your, your first thing when a boy asks you about why you're not wearing a mask. Instead of maybe something appropriate for a six-year-old, something I would say is probably pretty weird for a six-year-old is sort of telling about your comfort and, and going out in your own skin and whatnot. Um, maybe for an adult, maybe not for a six-year-old. Uh, every time that I leave the house, I'm nervous about what people think about my hair, my overweight body and my dry skin, my limp and my arm. One arm is noticeably shorter than the other. So I told him for the first time in my life, everyone else is wearing a mask. Let's start with, is that how you actually feel? Or was that a bit of a joke? No, that was, I mean, like, again, the, the post makes it sound like I'm, like, incredibly insecure and stuff. And, like, don't get me wrong, I am a little bit insecure about certain things, but, like, yeah, that is how I feel. Like, I, I'm my true self around very few people. Um, and... I don't know, maybe I was feeling festive because it was the day after Christmas. But I just, the, the, like, I, the innocence of youth. It's the innocence of youth. I saw his little face and, I, I don't know, it just sort of peered into my soul. Because it seems like you obviously had some sort of connection with the child and then the family. Well, have you I mean, stayed in well, contact God. with these people at all? Don't need you saying that. Um, yeah, I know I have stayed in contact. I've got, like, their number and stuff, so we, like, message every so often. Okay, are they, are they um, is it, have they been made aware of the awards? Yeah, yeah they're... So, so, so I've missed that question. Who are you keeping in touch with? With the... Uh, the, with... the family in question. Yeah, just 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 the parents. I've not got the, the kids' number. Yeah, we'll, we'll, give, we'll give a disclaimer. It's, it's yeah, you've got, you got, you got the kids' Snapchat box. <laughs> <laughs> so what, um, are they aware of the awards and... Yeah, that, that would be involved in. yeah. So, so they they basically saw it in like March or something, and um, yeah, I was like, yeah, this is like insane and stuff. But yeah, I think they they don't they're not really like internet generation like I would say I am. So I think they sort of don't understand the full details or they don't understand how how big it is. I guess. So does yeah. that line up with the kid being six though? Because you know, obviously it could be an adoption. I'm not going to make any judgments here, but if they're not internet generation, the internet's been around for a long time, man, you know? Oh, so I, six -year -old. I guess in in terms of maybe mindset rather than age, they're, they're not like, like they don't, as far as I'm aware, they don't have like Facebook or anything like that. You see, I'm really conscious about line of I... questioning because I think if this is all true, I, like, in one sense, I, I respect you because obviously, if you're not, if you're not kind of happy, and uh, I'm wearing a mask my whole life type of thing, so I don't want to kind of dig too deep into that. Um, I just think if it did happen, it's just really inappropriate. I don't know if that's just me, and it, that's not what the awards are about, so that that's probably irrelevant, I guess. But the reason I struggle to believe it is because of how inappropriate I think that conversation is, and I I don't believe that that an adult 
that an adult male would just respond like that to a child. Unless, again, unless the tone is completely different to what's in my head. So was it really upbeat where you, where you were laughing and you were joking it while saying it, or was it, or was there an element of sort of seriousness? And... Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like it wasn't like somber or anything like that. Like the kid came up to me, he looked really inquisitive, like he looked really innocent, and I just like I basically told him in sort of a matter of fact way. Like I wasn't like it wasn't like the the darkness friend was Hello, singing in the background or whatever, friend. anything like that. It wasn't. It wasn't like that, and and I don't know. Maybe I, I think I don't, I don't know if I said this on when I was on earlier, but like it's like a tradition for me to go to the super dry sales, um, and get like a hoodie or whatever. And I don't know. I sort of feel like super dry to me is a really safe space. Okay. Um, just, uh, very just very quick, very quickly. The, what's the your um? I've got quickly. Um, very quickly. What's your mate Michael's last name? Um, quick, quick fire, quick fire, quick fire. Where it begins with J, like J. I mean, Jameson. I mean, he's got a YouTube channel, so I know he's, he's he, 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 Jameson. It's Jameson. Okay. How, how long has your friendship been with Michael? Like ten years. Like no, like fifty. But basically, I met him on MSN. So however long that's been around. Okay. Actually, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying it's not true, but I, I, I've known people for years, and I could read off their surname in a second, sort of thing. Um, well, no, you know what? I'm calling bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on the story. I'm telling you why. Forget. <laughs> sorry, but forget anything you're about to say. I'm no. calling bullshit because on that screen record. Shit. Hello, hello. Oh, Am yeah. I back? Okay, he's back. Okay. The I thought he'd just done a runner. Um, no, my right. my Twitter like. Like went off. So what's what's your thought process on this, then, Harry? So there's um, something about Wembley. Next? Something about Wembley. What was it? Just saw about Wembley. While while you're doing this, um, oh, make it, it Martin James loves you. Um, just for throw it out there. Not not really one of the requests that the questions we've had. <laughs> um, Will, uh, where's this? You are a legend in the making, have... and bring on the fucking palace from uh, bring on the Millwall. Sorry. Was that to me? I don't get. I don't get that. Uh, that's, that's for Will Hughes. Hughes. Oh, for Will Hughes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought I'd explain that a couple of days. So Harry, yeah. <laughs> what have you got on this, thing, Harry? Um, I. So there's another post. I'm having to be really careful not to move my thumb. Uh, I'm trying to read out probably. I was at Wembley today watching England versus Croatia football match and the players kneeled in support of equality in football and to take a stand against racism. There was a young boy sat next to me about five years old and he started booing. I walked over to the young man and asked his parents if I could speak to him brief and briefly. They smiled and, and then you need to click into more. Now either... Vouching, we're about to add uh, another one to Thomas Godfrey's stats about Rotherham. <laughs> or, 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 you, or, or you need to stop talking to young children everywhere you go. Five and six year olds. Oh my god. Why do you why on June thirteenth are you talking to yet another child under the age of six or seven? Because um, we're and making them smile and getting weirdly close to them. No, and that especially was... why is Michael Jamieson saying vouching? You've been sat in the same pub. I've been sat in the same pub as you for the entirety of the match. <laughs> Oh, I think you have been clocked. Rumbled this. So yeah, well, no. like. <laughs> Are you going to sit here and try and like? <laughs> go on, no. Go on, I, I want to hear no, this just out. Come I out and say you've done a great job to. to you've con well, not you've convinced me. Whoever sent it in has convinced me that this is legit. I was passionate that this is the best entry. You've got to the final. Looks like you're not going to win it. You're going to come second. <laughs> I don't know what your end goal is here, but you've made it far. Do you want to well, admit it now? I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, he's gone! He's gone! Are you about to or are you Oh, mate, I just... Hang on, hang on. Well. Just well. let me... I want to screen record this moment. If I'm going to screen record this. Not. Here we go, right, screen recording. In an absolute first... Can you please admit that number one, you've you've done us over a little bit and got to the final, but number two, that you've been found out and that this didn't happen? Um, what is the most satisfying conclusion for you? 
Just come clean. Uh, honestly, and truth. Truth. the purpose of this is all about truth. You, <laughs> okay. I will say, Sebastian, you will be more respected by telling us you've had us all on than by lying. So my my friends have urged me not to tell the truth, but <laughs> it does sound, it does sound a little bit like I've been rumbled. Um, so I can tell the long story or the short story. Let's, want the let's long start story. with it. I want the sound bite first as the admission, um, so, so that there's just a really short, snappy. You know, this basically your story didn't happen, and I think if we can all hear the truth, that would be brilliant. It was, My name is X. Okay, it was, it was, yeah. it was, it was Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on, let's have the sound bite first. Just, you know, my name is, um, I don't even know if that's your real name. I, I'm starting to feel like it's probably not. My name is, my name is whatever. Uh, and, and super dry didn't happen or something. It, it did happen, to be fair though, like it did happen. Okay, your, your status is not true, is that correct? No, it's it's true. It's true. It's not that. No, you're back to admit to us. Like, no, you, you you've just said you've been rumbled. You're back to mate. Come on. It it was it was have a crummy and fitch. <laughs> mate, you've done a good that. job here. Let's not ruin it by keeping it going. You've done a good job. You've got this far. I think loads of people sat here listening are probably having a, a for the first time in three days uh, on these Twitter spaces, probably actually having a laugh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I will say one thing. I will say one thing before you give your dilemma. It, it's not Abercrombie and Finch because they only really cater for slimline people. I've seen some. Then let's hope the true part isn't his insecurities because otherwise well, you've just ruined it. I've, se I've seen some plus size servers in there at least. <laughs> Right, let's get it. Let's have this soundbite, and then, yeah, then I think the we all story? want to hear the truth um, as, as how this has all come about. Okay, um, my name is Michael Jameson, and I never meant for any of this to happen. <laughs> Someone knew. Was, Someone's grasped you in. I want to know how they knew. The story true? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I am shocked. I mean, so, so, so how has this come about? Take take us from. We'll try not to interrupt you. How has this come about? Okay, so I need to, the very beginning is ten years ago. Um, I wanted to play a prank on my then girlfriend, now wife. I wanted to message her as a fake profile on Facebook, and pretend like add her as add her as a friend and stuff, and message her and pretend that I knew her. Um, and. <laughs> Um, so she, she, my, my then girlfriend would say to, the, say to me, oh my god, this weird guy has just added me on Facebook, blah blah blah. And I would use the information that she gave to me, her loving boyfriend, and <laughs> use that information as vouching. Um, and d do things like, like I knew one, the name of one of her friends in school, so I was like, oh yeah, I met you at blah blah's party. And, and she was like, how does she know about blah blah, um, and so all that, blah blah. Um, and then uh, basically, I've just used the account as like satire for ten years. So that did you just... odd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it turns out you are still a creep. Um... Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! How did you get to marry you? This is incredible. This is golden. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the the actual uh, super dry uh, thing. So the I guess the seedling of truth is that every year on the first of January I go to the Lego store because I'm an, an a fole an adult fan of Lego, uh, and we look at all the new sets that come. Oh, this is just it's going to paint me out worse than actually vouching it. Yeah, I was going to say you, you know what I I still think you are a danger to five. Can I just, can I just say I, I want to say that I bet you was part of that statistic that Thomas found that was yesterday about yeah. people sticking Lego on the bombs. <laughs> and, and also, just 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 going on this, keeping to the. Uh, the same trend as yesterday. You, if I close my eyes and listen, you sound like someone trying to do a jackmate impression. Oh my god, we got jackmate on the call, haven't we? I don't, oh, I don't know, know what that is. Actually, this, is this is going to be a YouTube video, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Thomas Pearson. I like me. That's what you're on. So, so okay. So, sorry. Let, we'll get back to it then. So, you, um, you, you go to the Lego store first of January every year. Yeah, it's coming up soon. Good luck. Yeah, um, thank you. <laughs> Fingers so crossed for no. Um, so yeah, and then I get l like a load of new sets. I typically do actually get Lego vouchers for Christmas. Um, 
and basically because of the tier restrictions last year i couldn't go to the lego store um and i absolutely do believe in masks by the way um and so i was just sad about that and it just got me thinking and so i thought oh, i'll do another one of my banter satirical posts on the vouching account um so i did it and the bit that i said earlier about someone taking a taking a screenshot and putting it putting it on an office quotes facebook group is true um that is how it got like i i sorry no I posted it. I was really happy with it. I was like, oh, yeah, that's quite funny, actually. And posted it on the uh, office group myself. I didn't realise that someone would... Basically, I didn't realise how sort of... Um, I, I didn't realise I'd written, like, a viral-worthy um, status. Yeah. Uh, post, yeah. Were you aware of Dotya's existence when you were doing this post? No, I, that is true. I genuinely hadn't heard of it. So not only are you possibly now. on a register, you're also on the dot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, did, how, did you, how did you know about the fact that this post was submitted to dot, yeah? Um, I think people just literally started WhatsApping me. Because, like, the, so the thing about Valchin is that it was never... Uh, once I... Um, the original purpose, as I said, the original purpose of the account was to play a, a fun and light-hearted prank on my then girlfriend and it was it... just jump in on this uh, uh michael voucher um i've had a dm did you make the voucher profile to try and catch your girlfriend cheating on you no no Cla <laughs> um, my Cla well i said your name now claire, claire would never cheat on me <laughs> so you're stuck with Claire now? <laughs> yeah. In the basement? Yeah. <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah, right, Chloe, she's, 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 down she, she's handcuffed to the bed right now, but yeah, she is. Tell you what, if this investigation work doesn't deserve a follow, I don't know what it does. Yeah, you've, you've now got to become a supporter. This is brilliant, and... Um, I'm so, I'm, I am serious about a super dry, though. I do want some vouchers or something. You know what? We've got Super yeah. Joy trending three or four times. Yeah, it's mental. I can't, I can't and... get the Jackmate resemblance out of my head whenever you speak now. <laughs> oh, I don't know who that is. So wh where, you, where you has the same he, he's not a fan of Dot. Yeah, let's put it Where has the name Belchin come from? I uh, wanted something unique sounding. <laughs> this is... I feel like, is that it? <laughs> you are the epitome of Dot. Yeah. This is yeah. I'm just, really, I'm just, I'm just received a PM asking, saying, uh, "I wonder how old Claire is." Yeah, same. Yeah, oh god, yeah. Six are old in the story. No, no, no. She, she's, no, she, she's ten now. No, um, <laughs> she's, I, I'm, I'm thirty-four and she's thirty-three. Is that right, Claire? She's nodding. Yeah, no, that's just. Oh, why is she not talking? Let her talk. Yeah, that's that 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 suspicious. Yeah, thing. Can we uh, I mean, Claire, can, can you just like, she yeah, can you just like say something just to, she, she, she won't want to speak much, but here she is just to confirm that she is a real human. I, I am real. I am. I am. A, I'm a, a grown woman. If you're happy to answer just one or two questions, don't mind if you're a loudspeaker. It's, okay. I'm not hiding it from um, Michael. Um, number one, wh why have you married her? <laughs> I I honestly I, I don't know. People ask me that all the time, and I yeah. I can't I, I I can't answer it. It's fucking hell. Um, <laughs> he's honestly the the strangest person. Yes. But um, no, but I I I still love him. Have Have you had a bet on the awards? <laughs> yeah, I I tried to no, put. A, I, I I've had no involvement whatsoever in this. I tried to put a hundred quid on my one. Did you? Yeah, but obviously then I found out it's ten pound maximum. So. Did you put a tenner on? Yeah. Did you put a tenner on himself? Can we get a check with Ben Picture and whether that's allowed or not? I'll ask Ben Picture if they can refund your money just for the pure entertainment of this. You're just putting down yourself and losing it. It's not like he's even won money. <laughs> <laughs> this whole satire joke has cost him a tenner at the very least. At the very god, and yeah, lots of pain and worry. You, you know what, though, because I think a lot of people um, listening to this, whilst they probably find it brilliant, some people might be thinking, "Oh, god, you know, integrity of the account." People are obviously doing things to try and get on. Now, you didn't do this post by the sounds of it to try and get on. Yeah, I yeah, because you didn't know what it was. I promise you, I did not do that. Like when I said earlier, like my. Uh, so sorry yeah as i was saying so I, uh, the, the the original prank that i played on claire was like it was like 
I think it was more than 10 years ago. Or it was, no, it was roughly 10 years ago. Um, and after that, it was not a secret because I, I basically did a video um, where I like filmed the reveal to Claire, and um, so it was not a secret to anyone that I was vouching. And it was just it's just in the last year that I've sort of been trying to not make it or, or trying. Oh, brilliant! Vouching. Yeah, sorry, vouching. I'm back. My my thing keeps crashing. That's fine. So, are you um are you going to be looking to to turn this into a YouTube video? Um. No comment. No comment. <laughs> if you are, I'm respecting more if you are. Yeah, I sort of am recording right now, to be fair. Brilliant, that's fine. I'm oh, man, I'm I want you to get in Clash of Creators. You're coming in. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, I'll tell you what we'll do genuinely. Um, Brooke invited me down to that. I like, I weren't playing, and if there is a space, Brooke, talk to Tom. Genuinely, if, if, if uh, Michael and I could play and be on the same team, well, I, the Clash I, of Creators. I, well, I, was I don't know if that's going to be I'd Brooke, actually. I'd say Brooke that he could take my spot if he wanted. I mean, you wasn't playing anyway. Valjean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, in 2016, did you take your 93-year-old mum to vote who's registered blind and, and did she ask which vote for out? Uh, which box for out? That one wasn't me. <laughs> oh. My grandparents so, are all dead. Bloody <laughs> <laughs> <the> hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Did they die at this point? No, 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 joking apart, that wasn't me though. Yeah. Um, got a few DMs from people. I'll shout them out. I don't, I don't know how relevant Harry. these DMs are now. This Michael bloke is 100% paedophile, and um, that's from P P A S C Bailey. It's not anymore. Genuinely, is it is it is it is no way near 100%. I've got a really long message about climate change. I'll probably read that in a bit. Um, you can go go watch my YouTube channel. She's on there. No, we're not plugging YouTube channel. channel. <laughs> yeah, we're not plugging. Everyone forget that you've just heard no, that there's no, a no, YouTube no, channel. He does not your just... YouTube channel. <laughs> um, someone's questioning. Uh, isn't the Lego store closed on New Year's Day, same as everywhere else? That's Danny Keogh. What, this? Uh, next year or last year? In general, no, every year. That sounds very likely. Every year. No, it's not. Can someone just fact check what time the new the, uh, Lego store open, please? I'm waiting. In what part of the country? <laughs> it's. I mean, it's, it's, it's usually open because that's when new sets come out. That's when the first 2022 sets come out. Uh, sorry, that's when the first new sets of the year come out. Um, this guy sounds exactly like the James fellow on YouTube. So that was it before is open you came on New Year's out. Day, by the way. Same voice. Yep, came to just him. verify the same. Um, it was when we asked for your surname and you fumbled your own surname. Yeah, I yeah. so I didn't I didn't know why you were asking that. I thought you were because there there is screenshots like I think in fact on the original screenshot my name is blurred out once uh, on the actual yeah. comment, but then the actual person who liked it is me. So my name it's, isn't uh, blurred out, which isn't blurred out. Yeah. So the reason I was asking that was I was purposely trying to get you to start talking about a story getting your head somewhere else, stop you thinking about what I believed was going to be a fake persona. I didn't realise that you were Michael, but I, I didn't believe, I started to get to the point of not believing that you were Falchon. Yeah. But like, I didn't think you were the friend Michael. Um, and I was hoping that you would forget who your supposed best friend Michael actually was, because it's all part of a story. Or part of Photoshop. Oh, okay, yeah. So I thought that's why I wanted you to answer quickly and instantly because I wanted you to stumble. Um, but you, obviously you, you didn't because it's you. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. I'll just bloody backed out again. Toby Ball, who was listening, has said, I'll happily buy a T-shirt with the Super Joy logo saying, my name is Michael and this got out of hand on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could use the Super Joy logo, but you know what? It'd just be a laugh to make like 10 T-shirts with the Dot Your Logo and just that Super Joy logo. What, yeah, what about if we even use a picture of Vouchin or the Dot Your Logo? Yeah, get, yeah, get the Dot Your in the Vouchin picture. The thing is, that Vouchin profile picture is actually of a person. Yeah, <laughs> I'm worried about the rights for that now, to be honest. Yeah, we're putting that on a t-shirt and we just get sued. What, well, like, what's, what's, what's kind of the, you, you just said like a minute ago, you're like, I'll do another one in six months. How, what, what's the point of that, like, systematic bollocks, do you know what I mean? Like, for want of a better word, it's just like, I don't know what, what, like, what motivates you? I, I get, like, trying to be viral, you're doing YouTube, TikTok, whatever, like, you don't, you know, you've done all right here, you know, getting hit this far, but 
what's the um, what's the motivation? I just don't get it. Like, what? Why? What? what you, you sit there and you do you come up with a few different stories and then pick out the best? I don't know. Like, how does it work? What's the thought um, process? I, I've always liked making people laugh. Like, I was a bit of a class clown when I was in school and college and stuff. Um, and I've just always got a kick out of making people laugh. Um, and it's literally just a case of... Like, I have a lot of creative outlets where I, like, express my comedy or whatever. Um, and it's just another tool that I use. So it's just like, uh, you know, people were getting on about not wearing masks and all this sort of stuff and i just wanted to write something satirical about that and especially i like doing shocking humor as well so like the fact that valchin was breaking the law by moving but like the, i guess it was the ridiculousness that someone would travel between tiers just to go and visit like super dry like is a such a height of ignorance that is baffling and it just made me like it made me laugh writing it so it is, it is quite a funny it, it's got a humour in it just in itself. So it, even if there wasn't a dot you, I feel like that would be something that i I think the biggest suspect thing is just how creepy it came across. I know there's creepy people here, but you didn't come across as creepy when you started to talk to us. Oh, so, bloody hell, that might yeah. be the nicest thing someone's ever said to me. Yeah, I can, I can, I can imagine Claire's <laughs> not very nice to you. Um, the uh, the was that me. Personally, sorry to interrupt. But they got me. When you mentioned, you, you said the... The, the child peered, it, uh, like, peered into my soul with his innocence. That's when you got me. I was just like, this is bollocks. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> just, it was, it was no way to go. Yeah, that's fair. I just can't believe we've been had. This is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I like... I, I, I feel like I should apologise. I, I did not mean to, like, have anyone. Um... That's oh, hilarious. It's, it's, it's fantastic. You... You are the sole cause that this space went after 1,300 listeners. In the words of uh, Lawrence McKenna, content is key. John Devlin, I can't believe that nobody brought up the fact that Michael talked about having wind when he was still talking as um, <laughs> Vouchin. Oh, God, because that's true. That was Michael saying that, not Vouchin. We officially have a winner. Oh, my God. I... I won. Yes. Is it? Is it? Oh my gosh! Yeah. No, it's uh, not. I haven't done my announcement post. I normally do like, oh shit, a big long one. Right, I'm gonna go quiet. Can you guys entertain yourselves just while so I do? So, do I need to write like an acceptance? I mean, I've never done this on the fly, but um, yeah, I mean, I guess I want to thank. You lost, Michael. No, you lost. What? Michael. Wait, what? Michael. Michael. You lost. What? <laughs> but I thought. <laughs> I thought. Um, I want to thank anyone who's ever shopped in Superdry. Uh, I want to thank anyone who has ever written their address and put it in that little window that you get on the bags on, from Superdry. Um, because I think there's, there's a certain kind of person who, when they lose their Superdry bag, they want it back badly enough to put their address on, but also that they're willing to admit... I mean, hang on, why am I... I like Superdry. You guys are getting in my head. So there we have it guys, that is how I made it onto the Didn't Happen of the Year Awards. Uh, the conversation basically fizzled out from here. I promoted this channel and uh, yeah, we said our goodbyes. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed that. It was mad, it was mental. Happy New Year 2022, let's go. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Cheers.